Hey guys, it's your weird makeup artist friend Cat Sketch here today. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video and I'm not just going to sit here, show you my faves. I'm going to go through and do a, a eye makeup look inspired by this person on Instagram, Miss Yami Angela. I hope I'm saying her Instagram name right. I absolutely love this brick red color with the pop of gold. So I'm going to recreate that. You should definitely go follow her. Her makeup's outstanding. And I wanted to recreate that look because the eyeshadows match my favorite palette this month, like to a T. Because my favorite eyeshadow palette this month, well I should say collection by ColourPop, is the Watermelon Collection. This main squeeze eyeshadow palette we're going to play with today, I did this look from this, using this, and it they are so buttery. They are so pigmented they're so blendable that's such great quality all these monochromatic palettes they've been amazing so good so i'm gonna do a look with this today and this eyeshadow from the color pop collection the birthday treat is like this peach amazingness and their body glitters were amazing from that collection their liquid eyeshadows from that collection their lipsticks and lip glosses color pop is just amazing Change of the game, they're so affordable, they're so good. So let's get started. I'm gonna take, use the color Seed Money today and Red Bottoms because Red Bottom is that perfect burgundy brick red and I'm taking Seed Money first, putting that in. As you can see, my eyes are creasing. If I look a little weird, it's because I just did my foundation, my bronzer, powder, brows, nothing else because I'm gonna show you what, everything else I'm gonna add on that's in my monthly favorites. That's just one thing into the palette. It blends so well. Oh, it's so good. And don't worry, this monthly favorites, there's gonna be more than just makeup. Cause you know me, I always love podcasts. I have a TV show to talk about. For my base today, I started off with this amazing, super bougie moisturizer. This is the Al Genis Alive Prebiotic Balancing Moisturizer in SPF 15. I love to use this as a primer under my makeup because I have super dry skin. Algena stuff is very, very, very expensive, but if you have the budget to splurge on yourself and you love skincare, I love their um, golden collagen drop beads. It's so expensive. I just used like an at-home trial, two-week trial of it, but it works so great that I want to buy it, but it's literally like $120. But they did send that to me. I'll put in the description box everything and I'll put like little marks on who sent what to me and what items I actually bought for myself. And this isn't a moisturizer, this is a SPF. This is the Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30. If you like, if you just need a daily light SPF. I put on SPF every day because here girl doesn't want fine lines and wrinkles. And this is super pricey as well, but it works so well and it smells like lemon bars. And it's almost out already. But if you have coin and you want a really good quality SPF, it's so good. It really soaks into the skin really fast and it blends nicely. Even under makeup, I've tried it and I liked it. Just look how that eyeshadow blends. Oh, it's so good. Oh, look at that blend. I didn't have to try. I don't even have a P. Louise on. I just have a little bit of just my usual Tarte Shape Tape. Nothing heavy, nothing caked on. I really wanna try the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer because it looks magnificent. And I heard you have to use a lot less than the P. Louise. I love P. Louise, but it is very thick and heavy. But if I want to go big with some crazy eyeshadows, I will use it. And it's so pricey and you have to wait forever for it to be shipped to the state. I live in the States from England. Now, I don't know if Yami Angela, who I got inspo for this look, did shadow here, but I'm going to do it just to make it look like it's all cohesive on my bottom lash line. Now that I have my base down, I'm going to put some of the gold on and we're not going to use a product that's necessarily in my monthly favorites, but I love this pigmented gold that I'm going to put on. But before we do that, I'm going to also put on some blush before I forget because this Alomar Cosmetics is such an underrated brand. Um, they're not, they're pretty new I want to say, but not many people talk about Alomar Cosmetics. I got this in a BoxyCharm with some of my monthly favorites. The packaging is so, so good. It looks like an ocean, like an aerial view of a Great Barrier Reef situation. They have this coppery splats on it that's like this foil and this is raised. 
These are such gorgeous blushes. I'm trying to think of which, I might use that one. That might look like it works well. They have like such great pigment. They're so soft and buttery on the skin. They're just so good. I've been loving putting on blushes with um, brushes like this. This is the Spotlight Duster. And I'm gonna go into Scorcher and just pop that on my cheeks. It's so pretty. And I put some on my nose always. It's just so pretty. Again, Alamar Cosmetics, their eyeshadows are bomb. It feels like it's so underrated because they're fairly new. This blush palette is probably as good as my, one of my all-time favorite blush palettes. I mean, Tarte makes great blushes, but one of my all-time favorites is the Sigma Cheek Palette, this one, and this one is just as good. Even though you get half the amount of blushes, it's so, so good. I didn't talk about my other monthly favorite that I'm wearing on my face now. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. I am so late to the game on this. I haven't tried this until I went to the Too Faced headquarters and they hand this to me like, here's the key to the gate of amazingness. This is definitely, it says medium to full coverage oil-free and I feel like it's suitable more for oily skin girls but I put on a ton of moisturizer sometimes I thin it out with um, like a MAC strobe cream or something it is so so good I'm in the color almond and you can sheer it out you can do the full coverage it just lays so beautifully on the skin I've been using it a lot of looks lately and it's just amazing and I thought this was so gonna be overhyped because you know some people they talk about makeup products forever and you're like, okay sis, we get it. But this one is so, so good. All right, I'm just taking some of Graftobian's liquid gold that I used in my makeup this month that was of The Mountain from Game of Thrones. And I'm gonna do like the liner situation on this. And another favorite of mine that I'm not going to use in this look today because it's orange, it doesn't really go with it, but I have other favorites that I will wear on my lips, is this Clarins Lip Oil, the water lip stain. I want to say lip oil. It's a water lip stain in orange water. I got this color because I love orange lips. Uh, orange lips are super unique, I feel like. No one really rocks an orange lip or it's more like a peachy lip. I love orange lips and like an orange lip with eyeshadow, like a yellow eyeshadow is amazing. And not many people rock that color combo, but I absolutely love it. This is so cool because what it does, it stains your lips, what it says in the name. And you could put chapstick over it and the color will still show through because it stains your lips. I love the applicator. Again, this is by Clarins. They have other colors than orange, of course. They have like roses and reds. If you want something that's going to last all day, if you're not really a makeup makeup person, if you want something natural, definitely check out these Clarins water lip stains because they are absolutely amazing. I also have been loving Paradise PD is this TV show that me and my boyfriend have been watching and it's not for a younger audience, definitely not, but it's so, so good. If you're into like Family Guy type comedy, it's even a little raunchier than Family Guy. It's so funny. It's kind of like if Parks and Recreation met Family Guy or um, my favorite was American Dad because it's about some cops that work together and some of them live together in a small town and just the crazy stuff they go through, it's very funny. All right, going for this red gold. I love today's look already only because um, if you didn't know, blood red and gold are my favorite color combos, like my two favorite colors of all time. I love anything that's gold framed. I even have a gold frame of a picture on the entrance of my makeup studio. Yes. Now we need to even line the eyelid. This liquid gold reminds me of like King Tut. Some podcasts I've been absolutely loving. If you don't know who Samantha is on YouTube and Instagram, Ravendal, is that her last name? She's an OG old school YouTuber, makeup beauty guru. I've been following her for a long time and she recently followed me on Instagram and Twitter and I freaked out, but that's not my monthly favorite. It might be a little bit, but she did this podcast called Approachable and her topics that her and her best friend talk about are so amazing on Approachable. You should definitely check it out. Anybody that's into makeup, not even just makeup, just like growing up in life in general as a millennial, they talk about millennials. Not even if you're a millennial, if you really want to talk about topics that interest women this day and age or learn more, 
Her thoughts on drinking and alcohol is exactly like mine. I'm also allergic to most alcohols except wine. I share a lot of her uh, viewpoints and aspects on that subject. So it's just so interesting and so good. You should definitely check it out. It's called Approachable Podcast. I'm just using this Profusion uh, Glare and Dazzle because it's eye safe, it's an eye topper because a lot of the ColourPop, uh, even in the watermelon collection, they're mostly body glitters. And what you have to be careful is I can make a whole video on this uh, with glitters. There's eye safe glitters, there's like cosmetic grade glitters and craft glitters, there's a difference. And I don't like putting chunky eye glitter so close to my eyes to risk it going on my eye, uh, ruining and damaging my eye, ruining my vision. I already have bad vision. So be careful with glitters. Again, I could do a whole video on that, but I don't know if anyone would want to hear me rant and ramble like grandma about safety, about <laughs> makeup. Another podcast I've been loving is this Witch Amateur Hour. Uh, the full name will be here, <laughs> but it's such a good podcast. And no, I don't talk about my religion, beliefs, or standpoints in life usually, or my political standpoints on YouTube or a public thing because you guys aren't here for that. And I, I do have to say though, I don't have to say, but I am not a Wiccan witch of any kind. I just find that so fascinating. I have friends that are witches and I find it fascinating, so I love listening to their podcast. It's so fun. Just like, it's like listening to friends come together and socialize and just lift each other up and lift other people's up and convince others to have happier, healthier lives and more spiritual uh, lives if you're spiritual or not. It's just so interesting and they go through history. I love their ghost story hours on Halloween. I'm binge listening to every single episode and I absolutely love it. Especially while I'm cooking because they talk about cooking and cleaning and how it helps your mental health and your life in general. And I absolutely love the podcast. It's so in there from Texas, two best friends who probably I think grew up to it with each other. And they talk about just all these magical, amazing things. And it's just so, so fascinating. It's funny to me how the older I get, the more I want to learn new things and watch documentaries, listen to podcasts and learning stuff about history. And when I was younger, I absolutely did not like history class. I did not like when our teachers made us watch documentaries that I thought was boring. But then when I'm older, I like thrive from doing all these activities that my teachers used to make me do. I guess that's part of getting older. Now this month there's been a ton of controversy in the YouTube space, the makeup community on YouTube, specifically with YouTubers, but also the company that I'm about to talk about, which is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild does send me PR, and recently they claim that they've been cruelty free for so many years, but since 2018 they've been selling in China. But in China there's certain laws where they do have to test on animals to sell their products in certain stores and they're not very 100% clear about if they're under that certain law in China. It's a whole like debate and I do get again product from Wet n Wild so I do have some products in here that are from Wet n Wild and if you're against like them not being like 100% transparent cruelty free um, I understand, but I have been using this a lot this month and I don't want to lie to you guys on another hand So I've been obsessed with uh, crystal highlight from the highlighter illuminants from wet n wild And there's two other products in this video from wet n wild that are lip products just a little warning But this highlighter is like so affordable so good. Just look at that glow It's more has pink undertones to it and it's more like silver based pink you know, it's not a cat sketch makeup tutorial without a cupid's a highlight. So I've been loving their liquid cat suit in the color Mauve Overgirl. And oh, it's so pretty. It's like this purpley, 90s, grungy, just oh, so good. It's like a plum color, but a mauve plum. I'm going to use their color Send Nudes today. These cat suits are so pigmented and such a great price. Another great thing I'm obsessed with, Overgirl Wet n Wild Liquid Lip, is this, their Jade Brilliant, the lip gloss. So pretty. I did it in this look. It's just an amazing combo. It's just so good. 
I'm gonna put on lashes and come back. Now I have my lashes on. These are from Dollar Lash Club in the style Lexi. I absolutely love Dollar Lash Club. They're one of my all time favorite lash brands ever. They're so affordable. They go from like one to $10 or so. And all of their lashes are just out of this world. And I did a IG takeover over on their Instagram where I showed you how to do this look. And I did a whole walkthrough of it. It was so, so incredibly fun. I was so incredibly happy about the opportunity I love working it with dollar lash club and let's get through the other things I've been my favorite this month because there's still more uh, the dose of colors I think this was in a box charm as well this is in the color stone I've never had a dose of colors lip and it's that perfect pinky that color that every brand does that is so good but this lasts pretty darn long and I love the lip gloss in cookie from pixie over it's like my go-to I think I did that in the IG thing too and this is gonna be so weird you know me I have to have a pop in highlight and it's disappearing on my lips and I have to talk about ghosts and weird things it's not a cat sketch video unless she has this pop and highlight and talks about something that's totally random and weird than the usual. My totally random weird thing that I have to talk about is a tongue scraper. <laughs> My monthly favorite is a tongue. Yes, it is a tongue scraper because you know those tongue spra scrapers that are like just one solid piece, there's no holes like this and they have like the little, they almost look like a little comb for your tongue. It's so important to have a tongue scraper because most of the bad breath from your mouth, I feel like my dentist, comes from your tongue. So. I always use a tongue scraper every day and most of them just have like this, br it's like flat, there's no holes here and it's like a brush head looking thing for your tongue and that traps so much bacteria still on that that you're putting in your mouth and I feel like humans already have a lot of bacteria in our mouths naturally. This though is super easy to clean, there's no solid piece of less I feel like bacteria get in gunk gets trapped on it and this is by Dentec and it's a lot cheaper, like half the price than that one that has all the bacteria in it. This one is the bacteria rated one. This is the one you should get. And my, I'm not a coffee connoisseur, but I love a French press coffee. I love coffee houses. Um, ever since I started going out with uh, Corey, my boyfriend, he's super into coffee and I've gotten more into coffee. But I have like one or two cups if I'm feeling wild a day. My body loves caffeine. But this Don Francisco Family Reserve Kona blend is so good. I've never had Don uh, Francisco and I felt wild and trying new coffee at the coffee store and I got this one and I absolutely love their 100% Colombian one but this one is a little bit more mild than that and I do a French press with some cinnamon and sweet cream in my coffee I'm a sweet coffee kind of girl so what's the purpose of coffee I'm not here for the taste of coffee to be frank I am here for the effects for the warm feelings inside and the deliciousness with the sweet cream and I put some cinnamon in mine. But speaking of weird foods, I have to talk about uh, me and my, one of my good friends, Kim, who makes some of my necklaces. I'll put her link of her shop down below. She doesn't even know I'm doing that. But we have like a hot sauce exchange we started and she gave me these ones by Humble House and they look like craft glues, but it makes it easier. I actually do that sometimes late at night. I just shoot it in my... <laughs> So, this sounds so awkward. I just shoot it in my mouth. What is this monthly favorites video? But this is the Ancho Amoria. This Morita. This one is so. There's three flavors you can get in a pack on Amazon. This one tastes so good on pretzels and beef. This one is the habanero one and this one is more sweet it has like a sweet like mango-y like more of a because there's mango in it sweet and tangy blend this one's good on green enchiladas my favorite one that's totally gone because i i ate it like quick it's good in like tortilla soups on nachos is the the blue one there's red and green and blue and it comes in a three pack i'll put the picture of it here the blue one though is so good i went through that in like two weeks or less. It was so delicious on everything. If you're a hot sauce fiend, I'm a hot sauce, like a salsa taco fiend. My mouth is watering just talking about it. Uh, I'm not into really hot, hot sauces. I'm into flavorful hot sauce that is mild to not super spicy. But other than that, I think that's, that's my monthly favorites. This look, all the weird stuff of tongue scrapers and hot sauces and 
you know, podcasts. I'm obsessed with podcasts. Podcasts or something. But I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. Thank you so much to Yami Angela for the inspiration for this makeup. Definitely go check out her Instagram account. You guys could also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm everywhere. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below on what other TV shows that you guys have been loving. I need more TV shows to watch. I need like me time sometimes because I work so much. I'm not complaining. I love you guys. I have so much fun doing this. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!